Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel. Perfect timing Pablo for the intro. Like he has to be the main character. <coughs> Honestly, the biggest downfall of having a dash hound. He's just so vocal all the time if he hears anything. He's a great little guard dog, but if he hears anything, he just grows and grows and grows and it's like a rumble. Not sure what he'd actually do if someone got in, but the intention is there. Anyway, it's been a while since I picked up my camera and had a chat with you. But the plan for today's video is to bring you through my pre and post workout rituals. My everyday routine in the morning before I go to the gym. I'm going to bring you through my full leg workout and then I'm also going to show you what I normally do after the gym. But you would have just seen my morning routine. It's quite simple. I normally do the exact same thing every morning. The only thing that would normally vary in my morning slash pre workout routine is sometimes I do a spin session when I get up. To be honest, like when I watch other youtubers or like tiktokers or people on instagram they all seem to have like a really lovely peaceful morning routine mine isn't really like that i like to get up and get straight into work i know that's not everyone's cup of tea i know a lot of people like to sit down and like meditate or journal and things like that but i'm always like hyper alert and hyper active in the mornings as soon as i get up and it's usually evening time when i'm more capable of relaxing and breathing and things do i recommend taking this approach probably not i know there are huge benefits to like taking some time to journal and meditate and things in the morning when you get up and i know it's a very very common practice but it just doesn't work for me my mind is too active in the morning so I really don't take that many supplements but for the sake of today's video I'm going to bring you through what I do take and why before I go to the gym so one thing that I've recently started supplementing is the L-glutamine you would have seen me putting a scoop of this in my coffee this morning the main reason I started supplementing L-glutamine is for my gut health so L-glutamine is really good for maintaining a healthy gut lining and it's also great for reducing inflammation in your gut I originally thought it was going to make my coffee really chalky and disgusting but firstly anyway I'm not a coffee snob by any means the only reason I drink coffee in the morning is for the caffeine I wouldn't even say it's for the taste I don't have any fancy coffee machine right now I should really invest in one but the coffee that I drink anyway wouldn't be like amazing so maybe that's why I don't taste the difference you can let me know but like to me it tastes the exact same with a scoop of this in it but obviously you could also add this to like your protein shake or an inter-workout shake or whatever else you're drinking throughout the day because it's clear and it's dissolvable another supplement that i started taking recently that has absolutely changed the game for me is apple cider vinegar gummies so i tried supplementing apple cider vinegar shots before and honestly guys i just couldn't do it it tasted so bad i don't know how anyone gets up and takes a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning like it actually ruined my mornings and i was so adamant that i wanted to supplement it again because it's just so good for your gut health and digestion and like managing bloating it didn't take me long to give up on the actual shots but women's best actually came out with apple cider vinegar gummies and i was skeptical at first i'm not gonna lie because if anyone here has tasted apple cider vinegar before you're gonna know what i'm talking about like it's just disgusting fair play to anyone that can take the actual shots but these are the little gummies i take two of these every morning and i've genuinely noticed a difference when it comes to bloating and just keeping everything in check whenever i'm traveling i always find when i'm trying new foods like my stomach is going to bloat and i'm going to get discomfort and i struggle digesting new foods so keeping these with me have definitely helped and it's just something that i don't go without anymore every single morning i have two of these gummies do i recommend using vitamin tablets instead of eating veg absolutely not like if you can eat veg and if you enjoy vegetables you should try get your microvitamins and minerals from your vegetables but sometimes i don't eat as much veg as i should so i supplement to daily vitamins as well i have one in the morning and one in the evening and lastly this is definitely not part of my supplement routine um i take my pill because otherwise i forget it unless i have it with something else or implement it into my routine somehow i just forget it so i've been on this pill for as long as i can remember i've never actually taken a different form of contraception it's just always been microlite pill and thankfully like a rare case i've never really had any major issues with it but one thing i have noticed over the last couple of months and you can let me know in the comments girls if you've ever experienced this yourself um i used to always take pill breaks like once a month i'd take a week off and like have the fake period and then you know take it again but i didn't realize that you didn't actually have to take pill breaks at all so i stopped taking pill breaks for like maybe like seven or eight months and then i started taking the break again like the one week off per month and when i tell you 
I didn't recognize myself. Like it's been the last three or four months now. Anytime I take my break, I'm just all over the place. Like really emotional, really sensitive, really irrational with how I think and feel. Like just so emotional, like to the point where I don't even understand myself. Like I piss myself off because it's just ridiculous. I'm gonna go see my doctor. I've been on that pill for a long enough time now anyway, since I'm like maybe 16 or 17. I'm now 24, so I think it's time I get a little bit of a checkup and see what's going on there because I don't like feeling like I'm not in control. But anyway, that's enough chat about pills and periods for this early on in the video. Today's leg day, and one thing I'll always prioritize before leg day is getting a little bit of light movement in before I get to the gym. I always find that if I'm sitting all morning and then like just have a meal and go to the gym, I never feel like I'm ready to work out or ready to get into my big lifts just yet so I'll have like a maybe 30 or 40 minute walk with Pablo get some blood flowing listen to a podcast and just get some fresh air and sunlight so this is my fit for today's walk I have one of my half zip jumpers on in the color storm and I also have a pair of gray amplify leggings on also guys I got some new outfits for Pabs so I'm going to try this fleece on him today. I'm not sure if it's cold enough for the fleece yet but I haven't tried it on him yet and he looks keen I'm gonna try it on. Did you get a new jumper, buddy? Okay, buddy, stay still. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Pablo. <laughs> oh my God, it looks, guys, it looks like a cape. Hang on. Oh my God. Hang on, I'll, I'll fold it back for you, buddy. Oh, that looks so good on you, Pablo. Okay, guys, this is how we're looking. It's a little bit long at the back, but I think it's better that it covers his bum so it doesn't get cold. But he has like a little snood. <laughs> Also guys, just to note, I am a little bit later than usual with my walk today. Some days I get up and I go straight out. Other days I have to sit down at the laptop first for like maybe an hour and then I get out. But ideally, if you can get out for a walk in sunlight in the first hour of your day, it will make a huge difference to your sleeping routine. There have been so many studies done that show getting out in sunlight without sunglasses on and getting your skin in the sun, obviously in a safe manner. We don't want you going out like getting sunburned or anything but there's been loads of studies done that show how well it regulates your circadian rhythm getting as much sunlight as you can earlier on in the day if you're struggling with your sleeping routine this should definitely help so when i'm jet lagged for example when i got back from bali i prioritized sun rays walks i'm talking up at 6am and watching the sun rays and getting some steps in and it did me the world of good when it came to my sleeping routine so that's just a little tip if you struggle getting to sleep at night maybe getting up an extra 20 minutes before work to get some sun on your skin and to just just get out early in the day, I can guarantee it'll make a difference. We fully just got chased by wasps for that whole walk and I'm after giving myself the ick. Like I actually ran at one point, I fully ran down this peaceful walk route because the wasp got too close. Anyway, I'm just about to make my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna be having some eggs and bacon in some toast. I'm gonna to leave these eggs boil and air fry my medallions. I normally put the medallions on for 12 minutes at 180 and they're nice and crispy. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but honestly, I enjoy this and I have it most days of the week. I have some rock hard boiled eggs, of course, slightly overcooked bacon medallions and barely toasted thins. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with my taste buds, but I actually enjoy this, believe it or not. And I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt to it as well. I do like to have a little bit of sodium in my pre-workout meal and I'm gonna have lots of water. So I've already actually had a bottle of water today. This is my second bottle. I'm not always fancy enough to have the Ballygowan summer fruits every day, but today I opted for this because it's honestly unbelievable and it makes drinking my water a whole lot easier. Next part of my pre-workout rituals is picking my gym fit. So I'm going for a pair of Amplify leggings, of course, for leg day. You'll honestly never catch me in a different pair of leggings on leg day. I'm going to be wearing the Nike Prestos. These are honestly my favorite training shoes since forever. They're so light and breathable and they're honestly just a really good training shoe. I have one of the new Alpha Lux bras. I love the detail on the back of this one. It's really minimal. And of course, I have my gym bag. So this is the new design for the COM Fitness gym bags. They are 
going to be in stock this week again i'm currently just rebuilding the website and making a couple of changes but i'm so excited to finally have these back in stock guys so on this side we have a little pocket for your shoes we have a little mesh flap here that i always put my headphones in and like my car keys and stuff so they're easily accessible and then in here we have a filed pocket for keeping food hot or cold and then we have a choice of straps so you have your hand strap and you have the over the shoulder strap i know it's hard to tell the size of the bag like through the camera but it's honestly the most perfect size guys i travel with it all the time and all the airlines count it as hand luggage so it's time to get dressed and get going so after all my chat about showing you through my new gym bag i actually forgot to pack all of my necessary accessories into my new bag so normally i would do my warm-up with a glute band and do like a lot more dynamic stretching with bands but for this workout I literally just did dynamic stretching instead and some body weight work before I got into my heavier lifts so of course guys first things first we're going to pick a good song to get the workout going this is one of my personal faves to get hyped at the moment we started off today's workout with a hip thrust my absolute favorite on lower body days for building the glutes main thing that i look for in a hip thrust is to make sure my knees are in line with my ankles i'm not overextending at the top of the movement so my chest and knees are also in line and my chin is tucked tightly into my chest I was absolutely dying after these sets, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Next up, we went into an RDL. As you can see with the RDL, I don't flex my glutes at the top. You don't need to squeeze your glutes because you might end up hurting your lower back. I aim to keep my back straight when I'm going down. I don't bring the bar too far down my body where I'd overstretch my hamstring. RDLs are a great movement for building your posterior chain and also for really, really building your glutes. There's a really good glute stretch in this movement, so never underestimate the power of RDLs when it comes to glute development too. Next up I went into a leg extension, as you can see I have to adjust the seat quite a lot to make sure it actually fits me perfectly as I am quite short, 5 foot 3. I normally have to bring the seat really far forward and I always hold on to the seat or else the handles on the side to make sure I'm really tight and secure in the seat and my bum isn't lifting off the seat when I'm doing the movement. Next up, I went into a single leg leg press. I really missed my knee sleeves for this movement. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love having some knee support on this leg press setup, but we did without for today. I do love the angle of this leg press when it comes to supporting my lower back. I never find that it triggers my lower back. explain why I'm giggling and dancing so much before my finisher but it must have been some sort of hype to get me going. The finisher for this workout was absolutely deadly. I did walking lunges and I supersetted the walking lunges with wall sits. So I did three sets of those in a row and guys by the end of this workout my quads and glutes were absolutely fried. It was a more gluten quad focused workout. The only hamstring focus exercise in this really was the RDLs but I have a more hamstring focused day later on in the week. Make sure you save this video and like and subscribe to the channel so that you can try it out yourselves. But yeah, I was absolutely dying by the end of it. So that is my leg day done. I hope you enjoyed the session. Make sure to let me know if you try out the workout. I would love to hear how you get on with it. So one post-workout ritual that I used to be so good for before, but I've really been practicing it again, is practicing some breathing work post-workout. I know it sounds so simple, but I honestly feel like breathing work and just taking a few minutes to focus on your breathing after a session really does make a big difference to your recovery. Even if you start with like two to three minutes, I normally aim for like three to five minutes of breathing work, but two to three minutes would be plenty to start off with. I find that the evening slump that I normally feel is often avoided when I actually practice this because you're giving yourself time to actually unwind and de-stress after being in a stressful state. And I feel like if you don't do that after your workout, it's gonna catch up with you later in the day if you just keep on running and racing. I am quite a fast paced person and sometimes I do struggle to just sit and not be racing to my next destination. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. It's like the feeling of always having something more important to do. But when it comes to my recovery, 
recovery and getting the most out of my sessions breathing work after the gym really does make a big difference but if you haven't done it before definitely do try it i feel like everyone can benefit from some deep breathing at some point throughout the day especially when you've been in a really stressed state you know whether that's mental stress work stress or physical stress in the gym doing some breathing work will definitely pay off so i normally try wait like 45 minutes to an hour after i train to have my post-workout meal because i want to make sure my body is not in a stress state anymore and i want to make sure that i'm ready to digest and absorb any nutrients i need from my post-workout meal one thing i always make sure of is that i have high carbs in my post-workout meal so a bowl of pasta in this case or maybe a rice dish baby potatoes or bagels would be my usual go-tos but for today i'm gonna to have my pasta bowl and that is pretty much it guys that is like my morning slash pre-workout routine most days and those are the like tips and tricks that i do before and after my workout and during my workout just to make the most out of my routine so hopefully you picked up some tips and tricks from today's video but other than that i hope you enjoyed the video guys lots more to come over the next few weeks don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you next time